ladies, welcome back. I'm excited about tonight because we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the day in my chaotic life. Um, uh, many of you asked, how does your day, how do you go about your day? How does your day run? You know, how do you spend time in your office booking, uh, working on workshops and booking, booking workshops and uh, class time and blah, blah, blah. So that's what I want to talk about tonight and answer a few other questions. Uh, if you've gone through this series of videos, boy, pat yourself on the back. I don't know how anybody could listen to me this long, but um, I hope some of this stuff has helped you. <clears throat> Tonight, what, we're, when I'm, what I'm about to tell you is I want you to keep in mind that my day is not gonna work for everybody. Um, because number one, I am an extreme night owl. I love to work at night. In fact, it is currently 12 10 in the morning and everybody in my household is fast asleep and it is you could hear a pin drop in here it's lovely i love it um so uh, my night owlness may not work for you but i think some of the things i may tell you you could tweak a little bit and and hopefully um plan your day accordingly and that's tip that's really the tip of the iceberg here planning your day when about three years ago I needed to look at my business and and really make it a business I wanted to treat it like a business act like it was a business and work it like a business so I needed some help and I worked with a, a one of to me one of the best demonstrators ever and um, I, I learned some very valuable tips with her and the first thing was that when you're in your office, you treat it like an office. It needed to be clean, and I needed to uh, work on habits, on making my day organized. So I did these things for quite some time, and now to, today, even today, in this chaoticness, um, it's still a habit. It is a habit to get up in the morning, uh, make my coffee, be with my kids and get them settled in the morning, um, make the beds, and as soon as those beds are made, I'm downstairs working in my office for a couple of hours. My kids know they are both now seven and nine and they know that mommy works. So I come down here for a couple hours and then I'm ready to go off and do something with them for a couple hours. And then I come back downstairs in my stamp room and work a couple more hours. And then it's usually um, uh, the dinner hour and time for dinner, um, this is summer schedule, mind you, uh, time for dinner, and then after dinner, typically that's when I would hold my events, around 6.30 to 8.30, 9 o'clock p.m. And then once my kids were in the bed, typically between 8.30 and 9, then that's when my real day started because I have absolutely no distractions, no phone, um, I could really, work on my creative time, making projects for classes, for workshops, for clubs, things like that. Now, that's a summer schedule. So let me tell you what I would typically do once the kids start school because things are very different. Um, when the kids start school, I would get them off to school and then that's I would immediately come downstairs and work. I worked, I love to work in my pajamas. Um, my UPS guy unfortunately saw me in my pajamas probably more than he saw me in typical clothing. Um, but I would work really hard until about 10, 10.30, probably 10, 10.30 in the morning, and then go get ready for my day, come back downstairs and work till about 2 p.m. And what I mean by work is I'm making phone calls, cutting paper, planning for classes, doing placing orders, um, working on team um, team meetings. You know, during the day was a lot of what I call the admin work or research and development. Um, re by research and development, I mean I would do a little research on the internet, to looking for new class ideas and class planning. Um, that did not mean I was on the computer for four to five hours checking blogs. And I think that that's where we get very distracted. And by the time we look at our watch, we're like, holy cow, I've been looking at these blogs for like four hours. Um, don't get me wrong, there's a ton of great information out there. But once you, you know, four hours later, your creative time is done. You, you don't even have time to create. 
what you've seen. So you have to get rid of the outside distractions and because that's not making you profitable. So uh, at two o'clock, I usually would go run all my errands and then it was time to pick up the kids. Most important, between four and six, that was my time for my children and my husband. They needed to know that, you know, it's not just about stamping up. They do exist, I exist, and we are a family. So I asked my downline just not to call me between four and six. It doesn't mean that I don't want to talk to them because I love talking to them, but that was my family time. They were great and they respected that. Um, and that was the witching hour as well. Between four and six, I called the witching hour because it was dinner time and I had to be creative in the kitchen. I am creative with stamps. I am not creative in the kitchen. So I typically would let Schwann do that or craft, um, craft products like craft macaroni and cheese. Um, I, little secret, I hate to cook. So my kids um, are very healthy though. So I'm not complaining and Schwann's has very healthy food. Uh, you can tell I'm definitely not in my zone right now because I actually been cooking uh, since we moved in here and I'm a little done. So it's time for mommy to get back to work so Schwann guys can come back. Uh, so after dinner, uh, about between 6 and 6.30, it's now time for me to get ready for uh, workshops, classes, and clubs. Uh, any kind of event that I was having. Could be a team meeting, downline meeting, um, opportunity events, whatever. Uh, I usually hold those always at 6.30 at night. And between 6.30, 8.30, 9 o'clock, then I was working with people either in my house or I was out of my house. Now, with that, after 9 o'clock is typically when my real day started because I love to work at night. So there was no distraction, the phone's not ringing, um, I've already really done my research and development on the computer. So a lot of that time was either uh, shooting quick emails out that I missed during the day and then I am fully typically stamping for projects. Um, I like to make lists of things that need to be done for the month as far as project needs. I look at the materials that need to be um, that I need to have on hand and so I can be prepared. Now, I am also a last minute Nelly. Love this about myself. Uh, it's not really pro procrastination, it's just uh, I work great under pressure. So if I have, say, a club, typically two days prior, I was getting the projects done. If it was a class, hmm, usually two days prior, I was getting that done. Workshops, oh, I can do those in a couple hours prior. <laughs> and I know some of my um, friends and my assistants in uh, Colorado are probably cracking up because I gave it two days. Whoopsie. I, I don't know why, but a lot of times I do, I do work under pressure because if somebody says they want to have a, a workshop or if somebody says they you know, are really interested in this type of class, I will put it together and make it happen. Um, so I, I do love a little pressure. Uh, so that's typically my day and I usually work probably till 1, 2 in the morning. Um, my body can do that for about three weeks and then it crashes and burns and says I need a little bit more sleep. So, And then I get a little sleep and then the whole routine starts over again. Um, the basis really of what I'm trying to tell you is uh, you got to be profitable during your day. You know, Look at your outside distractions, be a list person, make a list of things that need to be done and prioritize them. I make my list at night. I like to have five things that have to be done the next day and get those things done the next day. And those are business things, not personal, because personal is very different. Um, you know, an, a, a big distraction for me was cleaning the house. So I set a goal, and once I met that goal, I hired a housekeeper. She was wonderful. And I know that not everybody can afford to do that, but if you're working your business, it's a great little perk to have because you can get a lot more done. Mine wasn't so much time, I needed more time for my business, I wanted more time with my kids. I don't wanna be spending time cleaning a house when I would rather be doing business. 